Amp control is similar to cruise control on a car. The cruise control will accelerate or decelerate as needed to maintain a speed. Using amp control will monitor the amount of load and stress on the arbor motor and the blade while it's cutting material. Then, through parameters and settings, it will adjust the feed rate accordingly. These parameters and settings can be adjusted to accommodate your materials, blades, and cutting conditions to increase the performance of your machine and the longevity of your blade. At Park Industries, we offer separate control of both mitered and non-mitered applications. For this example, we'll choose the non-mitered tab. With amp control off, it will follow the programmed feed rate along with the override. When amp control is turned on, it will follow the set parameters. This area displays some of the settings. These parameters are set under the Setup tab in Advanced Setup. When you choose the Advanced Setup tab, you will be asked for a password, which is Sunrise. Type it in and click OK. Here you can change or adjust any of the amp control settings. The setting types are the same between the miter and non-miter cuts, though they may have different values. The load set point is similar to setting the speed on the cruise control on your car. Some of the other parameters reference the load set point. The in-stone load setting is what actuates amp control. Amp control will only engage when the arbor motor draws more than the value set. The minimum speed is the slowest the blade will travel with amp control engaged and max speed the fastest. The speed up and speed down values use a percentage of the program's feed rate. It will increase and decrease in speed as needed at every scan time interval. The scan time is how often it will look at the motor amperage to update the feed rate if necessary. The value of the set point window is the range to either side of the load set point. When the arbor motor draws more than one amp of the load set point, it will decrease the feed rate. And when it draws one amp less, it will increase the feed rate. The minimum set speed reads the feed rate from the program. When the feed rate is greater than the minimum set speed, it will engage the amp control. This can be used to disable amp control while the blade is plunging. The Arbor full load amps are usually set to the specifications of the motor. Note that the settings used in this video are for example only. There are many variables specific to the equipment and the material. We will use a speedometer as an amp gauge to show how the settings affect the feed rate. We've set the value of the load set point at 27.2. With the set point window set to 1 amp, means that our range is 1 amp below and 1 amp above our load set point. The machine will adjust its cutting feed rate to keep the amp load within the range of the set point window. Our non-cutting amp load is 6.8. As the blade enters the material, the load increases. Amp control will engage if the programmed feed rate is more than 20 inches per minute and when the in-stone load reaches 16 amps. Now, amp control will increase the feed rate by 2% of the programmed feed rate 10 times a second until it reaches the set point window. 
The cutting feed rate will not change as long as the amp load stays within the window. When the blade is cutting harder material, the amp load will increase, which in turn will decrease the cutting feed rate of the machine. Increasing and decreasing the feed rate to maintain a consistent amp load will apply a more consistent pressure or force to our material, blade, and machine. Using amp control can improve the machine's performance and increase the equipment's life. Thank you for choosing Park Industries. Thanks.